What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? All right, guys, today we're going to talk about parasites in the rainwater, mobile radars, directed energy platforms, better known as tactical weather radars. But right now, I want to show you what I captured the other day in the sky, an octagonal atmospheric lens. The terrestrial atmospheric lens is a method that uses Earth as a large lens with atmospheric refraction as its physical effect. And I want to say this is probably also responsible for the big solar halos and it should be distinguished for argument's sakes from the naturally occurring 22 degree halo. I will say however I've never seen one of these without atmospheric aerosols present. And we have observed this with the moon as well. So they deploy stratospheric aerosols and tropospheric aerosols and then they mark the spot they want to heat with a giant X in the sky. Now we can observe this by watching the chemtrails take on electromagnetic frequency waves or microwaves. The people talking about the fake sun are misleading so many. I can't even imagine thinking the sun is fake. It would seem, between all the propaganda the last four years on COVID really destroyed thinking patterns, it could also have much to do with the human being being coupled to all of these towers exposed to nanoparticles completing the biodigital convergence and scrambling the brain. So once again, the white sun. We have had more than 2,000 nuclear explosions in our atmosphere. We also have a lens in front of the sun. We also have reflective aerosols being deployed every day in our upper atmosphere. I'm sure most of you here already understand this. Now let's take a look at parasites found in the rainwater. Carol Hawbaker from Fairbanks, Alaska sent me this video the other day. Thanks, Carol. She also wanted me to mention the pulsating rain she experienced. We can see that in the radar returns. So what we're looking at here is some worms in the water collection system. I didn't think much about this at first, and then I saw a news piece showing the same thing out of Cape Coral, Florida. Now we have had many crazy events over the last four years, so I would say please use caution when collecting rainwater. Filter it, treat it with iodine, we know these atmospheric aerosols can transport almost anything. This image was sent to me last night, thanks Darcy. So I wanted to touch on it real quick. What we are looking at is a tactical weather radar system. They are portable, quick to deploy, and this is just another tool we should be aware of and watch for the radar signatures. All right, guys, don't miss the lunar eclipse tonight starting at 741 Central Time. I'd like to thank Lisa McCarthy and Lynn for buying me a coffee and Kathleen Henson, Rhonda Dasher, Maddie G. Barr, Lindsay Majors, Adrian Pitt, Michelle Smith for helping to support this channel. Thanks, guys. You keep the show going. So until next time, stay aware, be prepared, and keep looking up.